Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial on Access Studios and today's tutorial is actually gonna be kind of a quick tip. So um, as you can see I made like two different uh, technique, two different spheres uh, that are rotating around and um, I'm actually gonna show you how to make these. And as you can see yeah the first one is actually a real sphere uh, without shading and the second one is as you may have guessed, uh, a fake sphere, okay? And I'm gonna show you both ways because this version, uh, this nice version, this water ball version, is not possible in uh, C uh, in CS6 and below. So uh, the sphere technique is only available for CC and above. So uh, let's get started with the first variant, the uh, CC variant, and for that I'm actually going to make a new composition. Just choose the settings you want. Uh, I don't need settings now. I'm just going to zoom in a little, and sorry for the small screen today, I'm not at home, so that's why. So yeah, to get started, uh, just make a solid with uh, the first color you want. I'll just, I'll just start with uh, a black and then a gray then just a white just a, a casual transition and okay and then we're gonna offset them okay so in order to do this I'm gonna open the position thing okay and then as you can see we should change these so uh, every single solid should cover one third of this frame so in order to do that, I'm going to select every uh, single one and then uh, reposition the anchor point. By uh, I'm using motion version 2, but you could also use reposition anchor point or just reposition it manually. I'm going to position it to the very right. And then I'm just going to divide this, the first one, by 3. Then the second one by 3 times 2. And uh, then, uh, yeah, I gotta reorder them. Okay, nice. Now that the math is done, I'm gonna select all of these pressing Ctrl A and pre compose them. Right click, pre compose. And then just go to Effect, Perspective, and select CC Sphere. Okay, and now you gotta see this, um, this sphere, which is kind of looking not how we want it. We want to uh, look, we want it to look like flat. Okay. So in order to do that, first of all, go to light, and then change the light height to 100. I'm gonna leave this at white and light intensity at 100. Then I'm gonna change the ambient to 100, and the diffuse to zero, and then finally the specular to zero, and also the metal. So now this is a completely flat sphere. So now we can uh, animate the rotation and we can either, uh, we can also, the, the um, good thing about this technique is we can uh, rotate it in every single direction and it always looks cool, okay? And if if we would make more, um, more of these solids, we could have like a water ball, for example, as in here, oh, yeah, whatever you want. And yeah, that's what that was it with the first technique, and then and now I'm heading to the second technique. So I'm just gonna uh, hide this. Then I'm gonna select uh, the ellipse tool, and just gonna make an ellipse in the very middle. And then I'm gonna fill it with black. I'm gonna make the same transition as uh, I made before. Then I'm just gonna align it by uh, going to view, whoops, to window and select this line tool and then press both middles. Reposition anchor point, you could either, either use the free tool, reposition anchor point or use the pan behind tool, drag it in the middle and press control so it snaps. Okay, so now that this is done, this is gonna be our first circle and uh, we're not, we're just gonna leave that, okay? So um, I'm just gonna leave this as it is and duplicate it and then make one with a uh, white inside. Okay, and I'm just gonna hide this white again. Then I'm gonna select the black one again, duplicate it, racist. Go to contents, ellipse, 
ellipse path and then right click this and uh, select convert to Bezier path. Okay, and what you're gonna do now is just click on this on one uh, either one of those sites depending on uh, if you want the circle to go from here to there or from here to there. If I'm gonna delete this, I want the circle to go uh, to rotate from here to there. So I'm just gonna delete this and uh, it's it's kind of I hate the fact that uh, in After Effects you can't convert this vertex uh, just on this side. This is just uh, only possible in Illustrator. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, press Control Shift and how is this called hashtag? And then we're gonna get the grid and then whoops, I just press G for this tool and drag this whoops and press Alt and then drag this down until it snaps on this axis and then do the same on, with this, press Alt and now we've got a perfect half circle and what we're gonna do with this half circle, I'm gonna drag this above the, fr uh, the white thing so now we got this, if I make this visible again, okay and now I'm just gonna select this black thing again, duplicate it, go to scale property and uh, uh, change this to the first value to minus 100 so now we get our second half and now I just gotta make a keyframe on the scale property, go like 15 frames forward and change this to zero. So now we got the first half. Boom. And now in order to uh, make the, the second half, I'm gonna go to this uh, white circle, copy it and paste it there. And then uh, I can just go to the scale property again and uh, uh, unconstrained proportions and um, I'm gonna drag this like 15 more frames forward and select zero the first property so now we got this uh, full transition whoop nice and now uh, when we want to ease this we gotta be careful because if I ease this this is what's gonna happen it's gonna be like whoa whoop and in order to change this, just select all of those, go to the graph editor and we can already see the problem because we got more keyframes. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, switch to the speed graph because it's way easier to handle um, and zoom in a little. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag, we're gonna drag these uh, Bezier paths in the middle to the very middle. Okay, so we get a peak on both sides. Then I'm gonna double click the first. No, I'm actually gonna drag this out and uh, look what the influence down there says. Uh, it says 58 or now 62.39. And if we want to be very precisely, we can just paste this here. I don't remember what, what it said, but <laughs> I think something around there. Okay, uh, let's see how this looks like now. Whoop nice okay so uh, this is pretty much it uh, this is pretty much the basics about uh, making spheres uh, without or with the sphere cc technique and yeah i hope it helped and i would say see you next time